Okay, y'all, I want to talk about um, what's been going on, these events that's been going on, how do I feel about this type of stuff that's going on continuously to my people. And I know some of y'all know that I am very vocal about what's been going on, especially y'all that follows me on Twitter. Uh, but, you know, I did do a podcast yesterday, but I know some of y'all won't look at a four-hour podcast, but it's a lot of information in there that – some I, I advise some of y'all to watch, especially you black folks, because we had a we had brother Triforce Johnson. I'm pretty sure some of y'all do know him from the uh, Empire Arcadia channel. He does a lot of documentaries, uh, professional documentaries. He uh, travels the world, you know, Jamaica, the Caribbean, the uh, the United States, to Africa. He's been everywhere, and he's a professional esports gamer, and he got his own team. So, kudos to him. You know, he does a lot of things uh, for his people, and he's very vocal about his people. And we gain a lot of knowledge from him, in which I did not know myself. So, everybody has has room to grow. We all learn uh, from somebody that knows more than us every day, and he's that type of person that if he's sitting up here and spitting you knowledge for free just shut the hell up and let him speak so i do appreciate his presence coming to my channel yesterday and spitting us some knowledge and i advise a lot of you black folks to come get, uh, and watch this this podcast from last night and gain some knowledge so basically what i want to talk about is basically when will it end the nightmare for my my people in this country in south america in China, in Africa, in the UK, all up in Europe, it's it's like every day we see nothing but injustices that's going on amongst my people. Matter of fact, there is a story coming out um, of Brazil, and Brazil is heavily populated by black folks, and there was there was slavery in the South America, if you know your history. He was uh, gunned down, and basically, uh, of course, by the police, and there is 70 bullet. Uh, holes in a 14 year old child so it's like these type of stories that I come across every day concerning my people it, 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 it gets me angrier and more angrier and more angrier and this is why we had enough of this is why we see the chaos that's going on in America so much so much injustices going on so much police brutality and it's just it can't it's just to a point that this type of stuff that happens to my people, it becomes the norm. And by it becomes the norm, people just don't just don't look that way because it's like, oh, he's just another black man, black woman dead in the streets. He must have stole something. He must have did this. He must have did that. Saying, you know, or she must have did that or she must have did that. Let's don't leave our sisters out because it ain't just black men getting shot there like dogs. It's our black women as well, too. So let's 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 don't forget. Let's don't forget. My, my, my sisters is, is getting murdered like crazy. And there is a um, there is a story in Tallahassee, Florida, that this black woman got gunned down once again. Uh, there's a story in Canada that this um, black woman got pushed 24 stories off the balcony by a, a race soldier. So this type of stuff is why there is a chaos going on in this country right now. And you know whether y'all agree with the looting and the, the rioting, I can't say that I agree or I disagree with it because I don't condone violence. But I got this type of mindset from Malcolm X that I will be nonviolent to the person, you know, that's nonviolent with me. I'm going to just put it right. I'm going to just put it there. Leave me alone. Then I will leave you alone. And that has not been the case in this country. Like we try to go our separate ways and just try to be the best person that we can be. But living in a system of white supremacy, this is not how this is not how this system is designed to be. It's designed to keep them in power and and keep us oppressed, and we see it in everyday lives, you know. So, and another another PSA that I want to address: if you could come to my channel with this all lives matter and blue lives matter type of stuff, then you can fuck off. You can get the fuck up out of here. I will block you, man. You will never ever be allowed to come to my channel ever again you will never ever be allowed to come to my streams I don't care if you're a long time subscriber of mine like I'm all about equality I'm all about love you know for my people I'm all about love for everybody if you love me I love you back regardless of your skin color uh, nationality religion whatever you are like I, I'm not going to I'm not going to subscribe to um, basically, uh, arguing, arguing with people that 
I, I don't even want to even just look your way. I, I don't even want to look your way. It's just, you, you're nothing to me. You're nothing to me. You're just a, 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 a piece of shit. You're a waste of space. You're a scum of the earth. And you're that type of person that stays silent on black violence. See, that's, that's you know, that's another reason why I see um, uh, a lot of people that's been getting on the white people. I, I can't say that they all need to do it, but... We need a handful of them to help us out, you know, because by number, we are at number in this country by a lot. And, you know, we need brothers and sisters outside my community, no matter what race, religion, nationality that you are. We are this, this, is, this is the type, this is the, the time that we all should get together, get together and fight against racism. And when we you know, all said and done, we we'll fight, you know, this, 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 this racism and racism and this police brutality and all this, then now what? what what's next? What's next is changing laws. What's next is giving out reparations to the descendants of slaves that deserves it. And I guess I know that some people are against it, but like, if you look at the uh, history of reparations that the Americans have, has wronged, they, they, they all got, you know, basically paid out reparations. You know, of course, the, um, the Japanese, Pearl Harbor, when they bombed them, they paid them. They paid them reparations because a lot of it was locked up. It, it was in prison, that type of stuff. It was a lot of, you know, uh, um, you know, stuff going on with the Japanese. And, of course, you got the Jews. And, you know, even though the Holocaust did not happen in America, America to this day is still paying them reparations. But the people that they enslaved and still oppressed for the last 400 years is still getting spit on. So that tells you something about this country. America don't need to be worried about other countries talking about, you know, you doing this, you doing that wrong to, you know, y'all people. But at the same time, y'all is doing wrong to the American citizens. So talking about the double standards, man, the hypocrisy is on a, it is on a, a, a whole different type of level, man. So all I'm saying is that after all this stuff is done, we need to change laws. We need to change laws. We need to be more diversified when it comes to people that's in power. We need to be more di uh, diversified. We need to get those white supremacists out of office. Uh, that's just why uh, local politics is very important. You need, to, you need to look at the background of these uh, people that's in these uh, high positions, the, the judges, uh, the DAs, the sheriffs, uh, the, the chiefs, you know, the people that's all up in the judicial system. We need to look up their backgrounds. We need to know... Um, is their background squeaky clean? How's their family? Is their family have ties to the Ku Klux Klan? Do their family has ties? Like, I don't want to. I don't want nothing. I don't want to hear nobody talking about. Well, slavery was a long time ago. Jim Crow was a long time ago. That has nothing to do with me. That type of stuff pisses me out because a lot of y'all that say is that that you know y'all got generational wealth from from slavery. Y'all still have generational wealth, while my people, my people has nothing. And y'all, the main one saying y'all need to pick, y uh, pick, pick yourselves up by the bootstraps and do it yourself. The same people that was born with a silver spoon in their mouth. See, this is, this is why we are in a turmoil right now. This is why this, this country is burning to hell right now. Because this country just do not want to right the wrongs. Like, it's, it's simple. Stop killing my people. Stop disrespecting my people. Stop incarcerating my people over petty things like the justice system is so corrupted man like it just it's like we we made it be, to become the everyday norm that we just keep silent about this but with all these police brutalities that keep on happening day after day after day after day like we snapped we snapped like it's just a matter of time when this country going to revolt and right now this country is revolting right now Revolt because we're sick of it. We are sick of it. And I'm proud to see that the real Americans of all shapes, sizes, colors is out there fighting. It's fighting for us, fighting for my people. I am, I am so thankful for y'all. Really am. But like I said, at the end of the day, people, we need to get laws changed. I experienced a lot of discrimination throughout my life. Um, I, I experienced a bunch of discrimination in my field of, of work. A lot of y'all know I, I do uh, I do plumbing. That's my profession. I do plumbing, and and base, and basically the stuff that I go through in the, in that trade in in the construction trade it is it's just it's so ridiculous, man. I'm just so sick of it. This is why I'm advocating 
for me to start my own business. I'm advocating for a lot of African Americans or a black person, whatever you want to call yourself, to start your own business. Stop trying to depend on nobody. Depend on yourself. And if you, have, if you can have somebody to depend on that is a true friend, then, then you know, kudos to you. You always need a true friend, man. Right now, we all need a true friend with us. And all I say is, if you on that bullshit, that all lives matter bullshit, we know exactly when people say black lives matter, it has nothing to do, nothing to do with all lives, you know, don't matter. We, we know that all lives matter. You know, all lives matter in this nation that I live in, except black people. So if you come to this channel with that bullshit, you, you, you block, you ban. I ain't got time to deal with you. I don't, I don't have time to deal with you. So, yes, this is my, my, uh, my update to this channel. I, I basically just want to just give you my thoughts, my opinions, what I feel about this situation, man. It's just so much I do want to say, but I might have to go live to just, you know, just, just vent a little bit more. But in the stream yesterday, I did mention that I might talk a little bit more about, you know, the issues that, us black Americans that's going through on an everyday basis on this channel. You know, I did make a, another channel, but that channel is not doing too well. So if I do decide that I do want to talk about some, I guess you could say politics, whatever, the oppression of my people, or there, if there's just something that I need to get off my chest, I, I will be putting it on this channel, just letting y'all guys know. And if you do have a problem with it, you can always unsubscribe. I, I really don't care. This is still a, gam a gaming channel, people. This is still a gaming channel. I'm not... I'm not redirecting this channel all the way to, to politics. I'm not. But like I say, if I do have something that I want to share, I will share it. Uh, but, yes, we are still doing my every, uh, every Friday podcast, gaming podcast. And we did mention yesterday that we might do a separate podcast weekly uh, about the, the, you know, the issues that's going on in America. And not just America, just worldwide. Because right now, my people worldwide is suffering, man. It, we are suffering. You know, just because there's a few black individuals that's rich does not mean that we all rich. That's another, that's another deflection that white supremacists like to do. Well, you got Oprah, you got Tyler Perry and Jay Z and Beyonce, you got Kanye West and uh, Diddy, you got all these black billionaires, uh, Bob Johnson, Brian Allen, all these billionaires. Like you talking about a handful of billionaires in a uh, black billionaires that's in a population that has over 50 million black folks. And I will guess, I, I, I'm not going to say I guess, I say around 80% or 85% of us is living in poverty. And that's sad. And that's sad. So I don't, I don't have time for that deflection about a few rich guys and these athletes and all that bullshit. I don't have the time and the energy to argue with you type of white supremacists. If you're not a white supremacist, then you you know if you if you're white and you're not a white supremacist, then that I'm not talking about you. The reason why we we say the the, the term white supremacist because it is white people that is in power that feels that they are a uh, uh, supreme uh, uh, supreme than us. You know they they feel more superior than us because they're white. If you don't have that mind frame that you you more superior than any other group of people, then I'm not talking to you or about you. You know, it's just the powers that be happens to be white people. That means that they aren't white supremacists. There is no such thing as a black supremacist because my people does not have the power or the authority to basically oppress any other group of people. So I don't want to hear the term that, well, black people can be racist too. No, there is a, there is a huge difference between being a bigoted, prejudiced, and racist. There's a difference between that. Racist is, you, let's just separate racism from being a bigot. Two different words and two different meanings. So if you don't know the difference between being a racist and being a bigot, then you need to sit down and, and, and shut up and gain some knowledge. Just shut up and read. Shut up and read. So I, I went on long enough, people. I just want to just give my update to this channel. I do want to do more of the um, do the, the politics, uh, talk about more issues that's going on with my people. So if you want to follow me, please do so. Uh, subscribe to this channel. Uh, follow me on Twitter. I am in Twitter jail right now. I got like another four days because Lil Wayne says some off the wall stuff. The, the coonery, the things that he's been saying these past few years. That's why I don't follow this guy. I don't listen to his music. Uh, that's another thing. I, I don't advocate to listen to rappers that talk about killing other black people. I'm sorry. 
I am sorry. Black folks, we need to wake up. If the NFL can continuously do this to Kaepernick and they're going to stay quiet about the oppression that's going on with black folks, why are we still watching the NFL? At least I can give kudos to the NBA because the NBA, they are on top of that. Every time there's issues in black community, they are on top of that mess. And I love that and I respect that about the NBA. But the NFL, even though I'm a huge Cowboy fan, y'all can go fuck yourselves. Jerry Jones can fuck yourself. All y'all can go fuck yourselves. I don't give a shit right now. It's about my people. I don't give a fuck about sports right now. Fuck sports. My people, be, my people comes before sports and entertainment. That's another thing. We need to get out of this entertainment crap, black folks. Get out of entertainment because this entertainment is keeping y'all from, from gaining knowledge. And y'all not getting uh, gaining knowledge of your true self. So that's why y'all are stuck in this in this in in this bubble that I need to, you know, y'all wanna just just look at sports all day and, and you you're all right. But you still can't figure out why our people is still getting killed in the streets like dogs. Just sometimes, even if you do like sports, I like video games. I, I play video games, but at the same time, I still go read a book. I still go get knowledge. I still go see what's going on in this world. So that's all, that's, that's all I gotta say. I done ran it too much in this video. Like I say, if you wanna follow me, subscribe to this channel. Follow me on uh, uh, Twitter. That's Real Gamer, at RealGamer27 on Twitter. Uh, follow me on Facebook. I use my real name on Facebook, Aaron Johnson. So let's do that. It should be in the link in the description. And I appreciate y'all guys for watching. And I will see y'all in the next ride. Peace out.